Good morning. I just made myself a, a cup of coffee. And sometimes when I'm sitting here on my um, stool, I look over and I can see the beautiful um, vapors from the hot coffee grounds. Um, it's a single cup uh, brewer. Uh, that I use several times. I, I drink way too much coffee, but um, I just wanted to share this moment as the sun's coming in. You can see my beautiful green uh, money tree in the background and the, the coffee ground vapors. Isn't it so pretty? I think it's pretty. I just wanted to do a really quick video. I'm not back to making videos or anything, but I just wanted to remind people to uh, be cautious, be very careful that Satan's roaming around like a lion looking to devour you through your emotions. Okay, that's why, you know, stories are getting more elaborate, more intense, uh, more lies. That's what it is. It's just lies, okay? But, you know, if Satan can get people to believe the lies, it stirs up anger. It stirs up feelings in people. And um, the Lord says very clear come out of her come away from her my people lest you suffer from her plagues and part of the plagues is getting so emotionally involved and sucked into um their circus okay it's not real none of it is the lord wants you to open your eyes to that truth and seek him and seek him for knowledge and understanding and wisdom so he can show you um, that it's not real when you actually have his Holy Spirit and you're born again in the spirit of truth <clears throat> none of it matters to you anymore <clears throat> absolutely none of it it really doesn't. You don't wake up looking forward to another day here. You wake up and you're like, oh, I'm still here. <laughs> you know? And you, when you know it's all a lie, you don't want any involvement in it whatsoever. So, don't listen to people who have so-called prophetic dreams and visions and so-called intel. Intel to what? If the whole thing is a lie, then that person who says that they have intel is also being deceived. Wide is the path to destruction. And the Lord's people are going to be destroyed because they lack knowledge. Because they believed the lies, the Lord himself placed a strong delusion upon them. 2 Thessalonians 2, 10 and 11. They are under a strong delusion. You are only truly saved if you understand that this place is a snare, a trap. Satan trapped you in a lie. He's been doing it all the way from the beginning back to the Garden of Eden. He's been a liar from the beginning, a murderer, which means he's a liar. To deceive most people, to keep them distracted, to steal your crown. Your crown is your, your mind, okay? And if you don't have enough oil in your lamp, knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, spiritually, 
then you're going to go through tribulation. You're going to go through judgment unless you become born again. And that's why all these people are supplanted in your life to deceive you. If they do not have his Holy Spirit, then they have other spirits in them pulling their strings, telling you things to get you to lack faith in the Lord, to get you to question whether or not you're walking in truth or not. And the Lord said that it's impossible to please him if you lack faith. So Satan is doing his best to wear people down. But if you turn it off and you walk away, you have a peace. You know that the Lord's got all of this, absolutely all of it. Okay? You just have to cleave to the Lord, make sure you're born again in the Spirit, and you have His Holy Spirit. You don't have to worry about what your next move is going to be. The Lord takes care of you 100%. You just have to have trust and faith in Him only, not man. I love you. I hope I planted a good seed. And God bless.